Magic Art Festival, one of the most hype, hyped stages here in Pokemon Tournament DX, and we're so lucky that we can actually play on it now. And there's gonna be Magic Art splashing all over the bench or all over the ship, the bench of the ship. So Blades again versus Dark right here. We'll see how it goes. Paper. Uh, of course has the advantage of the field, but Kuma can put on a lot of pressure and Tatsu really uh, screws up a lot of Dark Rides gameplay. They hit back Y, the Tatsu kind of like a little tornado in the air, if you guys don't know. Uh, that, that move right there. Uh, nullifies traps. So if Dark Rides setting up a lot of traps, he's actually can nullify it. So kind of the trade-off is it's a little bit slower to start up. So Paper clashing with the 8A. And do a little bit of zoning. She is in nightmare mode, so she can get this extra chip, and all of her traps automatically activate. Trying to do a little bit of fake out shot. Catches the move with the 8A, and that does a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage, folks. If you were playing backward, back a little bit, I know he's been, he has a specific game plan for this matchup, so it's interesting to see how it kind of unfolds. Uh, he did get hit with that with the shadow ball there. Paper doing a lot of chips. So this is something that Fumu is not used to, or not, not used to. Uh, ooh, I'm not used to that. But, uh, good punish there on the 8A eight, eight for Fumu. But as I was saying before, Fumu, or Fumu uh, used to not have a, a lot of health. So he uh, is used to doing a lot of self damage and going to be able to get a lot of that here. And that's what eats up the round. So eating the chip probably not as big a deal for him. Of course, he definitely eat that chip. But for Blades of Cannon, you know, it's kind of known. Uh, this is actually going to go into timeout. Oh, nope, it does not go into timeout. Paper is able to get it at the end. Fumu uh, noticed the timeout a little bit too late and realized he needed to get in and had to make a couple risky options to try to do that to get around. But at that point, when in nightmare mode, uh, it did pretty hard for him. Uh, I guess that's a decision that each player is going to have to make whether you just kind of hang back, uh, don't give your opponent your tier skill, or if you just kind of can do it in a way. Or if you try to go and try to make something happen. Uh, with Blaze can really can get a lot of damage very quickly, so I agree with the for Fuma trying to go in. And I do think Fuma's running for Fuma, so you know there's always a chance to get it. But Fuma able to go over the overheat and in the sky uppercut unenhanced to finish out the phase. Pulls the Eevee. See, he went for Tatsu there and it was a little slow. Goes for the Power Ranger move instead and was able to get it. Magnemite coming out and then the Fuma can move Sidewide trying to get rid of the buttons, and then there's the Tatsu we talked about before. Able to nullify those traps on the ground. I... Round number three here. Paper getting off to a good start with some of these traps. But we were able to jump right over and get it with the charge X. Darkrai throwing some projectiles and Fumu able to up cancel that. A little paper trying to CA that is kicking in the under, or was the enhanced blaze game, but it was actually an enhanced square blitz, so that does counter you know, A lot of pressure coming out here from Fumu. Paper's like trying to interrupt. Uh, trying to interrupt a lot of situations, but it's able, or now sitting at one health for it. Going in, she only cancels, she's not only cancels here. She, I think she went in for the homing, I'm not sure if the animation went through, she's not able to cancel. Uh, but that's where that came from. So good job by Fumu, like really showing that he understands this matchup. So he felt, you could see in his gameplay that he was really confident in it. Uh, especially in the round number one. He did lose in round number one, but you could really see uh, the health that he was able to take away from Dark Rai. He knew exactly what the punish. So, I think he feels very confident in that matchup, and Paper really recognizing that and going straight into the style. This is a pretty interesting matchup for both characters. Weavile is able to, what we call schwa, or 2x, like the really long slide. It's able to low profile a lot of Blaze Kicks options because his Blaze Kicks, which do most damage for him, uh, are uh, mid high, so she is able to go underneath them. First hits a mid, second hits a high, that little schwa white right there. The only downside is, at most distances, schwa is punishable on block. You can see it's pretty interesting by Fumu, see the top two, that little uh, tornado that he does, that's the correct up right there. That is actually punishable on block as well, if they don't space it correctly. And there's one of the few times that he hasn't spaced it correctly, 
uh, it seems like I'm not punished accordingly, so he's kind of free to really abuse that tool right now. So red armor coming through with the enhancement, be able to push paper to the corner, backs off. Nice, oh, cancels actually into the brave, special cancels actually into the brave bird, and it's able to get around there. Very good stuff by Fubu. He said, don't sleep, if you freeze in this man in bracket, be terrified of Frosty, because this man is on the tear. So he's playing way more confidently, and he's doing a really good job. Paper, uh, unfortunately getting grabbed, calling up the Dragon Knight to get a little bit of chip, but does get grabbed. So I kind of want to see Paper playing back a little bit more, and he's a really slow Fubu. I think Fubu is more sort of a lot of momentum, and I think this burn is going to be it for Fubu does answer with his own burst, but Weeba puts on a lot of pressure as well, just in order for And see, there we go, nice punish. There are the blades get content. Trap away some of this energy that sets up a plus combo. They both hold the same energy burst. Fubu is more or less calling his first up to his speed, uh, speed buff. There's not really a downside to calling his first blade skins first. It's pretty hard to punish. Especially at like, kind of at that range zero. So, pretty free to throw that out there. See, she swaps underneath, gets herself out of the corner. Same thing again. Tries to punish there, but is not able to time it correctly. But does catch the vulnerable frames there on the counter attack. Fubu sitting on match point, he's still in a really good position. He has a lot of recoverable health, but he gets hit by the Dragonite. Oh, it does not count. Paper not able to finish with the uh, knockoff. Fubu is one hit away, so a homing attack will do it here for Paper. And they'll position me. Weavile very fast can push a lot of options with her. With its. Excuse me, with its homing attack. Fubu is sitting on that synergy nugget, really wants to get first this round. Paper recognizing that goes straight for her first. Uh, it's actually pretty likely to get her burst if she wins another field phase. She can most likely get her burst again in this round. So she's going to reset it to field phase here and able to sap away some of Fubu's synergy. So if she wins the field phase after the first synergy deactivates the forest, then she will be on her way to getting in. Great awareness there by Paper, but he does get hit, unfortunately, with the second one. Overheat coming out from Fumu. He's gonna put some pressure on with his burst. Kim Stack had a pretty safe distance. He's gonna call Dragon Knight to get some of that chip. Nice spacing from Fumu. He was kind of sitting at that awkward spacing where Paper really still had to make a call out on something. This should be it right here. Fumu Paper is blocking. Yep, she's not out yet, but she's still in a deficit. But he just needs one clean hit. Invulnerable frames there from the taunt. And the punish. No follow up. Paper trying to bait out something. Uh, goes for the icicle crash. Not the second hit. Tries to backdash out of the CA and gets caught with the high jump kick. Hello, Junior Jam. Yes, this is about commentating. I see you're on the other side of the